Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Stott, I'm the Emperor of Stamaria, and today we are condemning the condemnation video that was posted on the Kingdom of Wayward's YouTube channel. For those of you who are not already aware, and for those of you who have only heard rumour, it is true. The Kingdom of Wayward, an associated state within the Empire of Stamaria, has broken ranks and published on their YouTube channel a condemnation video condemning the Empire of Stamaria itself. And for those who, for you, who do not believe me, go onto their YouTube channel and go and find it because it is a very recent video and it is still up there. Now, while they claim that this condemnation video is done in a complimentary way, I can see through the thinly veiled lies and myths truths that they're trying to peddle in order to discredit us. And just like every other micronation that's ever questioned our might and our majesty, I will not hesitate to call them out on this. And that is what this video is about. This video is condemning the condemnation video of the Kingdom of Wayward. And so without further ado, I want to take one step at a time, one condemnation at a time, and reveal to you the reality, the truth behind each of these points that they highlight. They claim that we are better dressed and more polite than they are. Now, this might seem complimentary to you, but it is not. It is a direct assault on my person, because what he is saying is that I am a meek, quiet, courteous little man. And if you see any of our videos together where we're having an interview or anything, you can see this. There he is, loud, bellowing, in his booming voice, overshadowing me, the Emperor of Stumeria, who does he think he is? I mean, honestly, the show is about me, Raoul. Get with the program. They claim that we have a newer car than them. They claim that it is a newer version of their car. But he knows the truth. The truth is that what I am driving at the moment is a company car. And he has highlighted this point, I believe, in order to emphasise the fact that I am in fact carless. My wife, Samantha, the Empress of Stamaria, has a car. Even Eleanor, the Princess of Stamaria, has a tricycle to her name. And God help anyone that tries to take that tricycle away from Eleanor. But that is honestly the closest thing I have to personally owning a vehicle at this time. And this Again, it's just a, a thinly veiled attempt to jab at my person. And, you know, this just eats away at me. It really, really eats away at me. So uh, we'll have to move on to the next one before I start, you know, shedding a tear at this, this betrayal. They claim that we have more silver than they do. But of course we have more silver than they do. We mint the silver. What is he trying to suggest? That he should have all of the silver himself? That is just the hallmark of a greedy, egocentrical, if that's a word, person. 
that uh, is determined to reap the rewards without earning them. Shameful. Pure, pure shame. He claims that I have a nicer haircut and is better presented than he is. And again, this is just uh, another attack, a direct personal attack on my person. Because he knows full well that he has the ability to grow a beard. And for neither love nor money can I grow a beard. He knows this. And he has used this as a way of jabbing, once again, <laughs> trying to provoke me into a emotional response. But I will not be baited into this. I will not be uh, lured into this trap that he set. No, I cannot grow a beard. And yes, Raoul has a magnificent beard, but that is all there is. They claim that Princess Eleanor of Stemeria is far more advanced, far more intelligent than the Prince of Wayward. But this is a half-truth. The reality, as he well knows, is that she is also incredibly brave. So much braver than the Prince of Wayward, in fact, that during one of their most recent visits, when both given appropriate weaponry, small, fluffy swords, the Prince of Wayward fled in sheer terror as Princess Eleanor chased him around with that sword, chasing him off the field and claiming victory for Stemeria. That he does not mention, and there is good reason for it. Shame. They say that we were going to cut down the pine trees at the Kingdom of Wayward, but that it never happened. But what he doesn't tell you is that because for some unknown reason, he seems to have been completely blacklisted by every tree surgeon in the area. Don't ask me why, don't ask him why, we don't know why. But no one will respond to him. No one will answer his calls. No one will respond to his text messages. Those that do and say they'll get back to him, they don't get back to him. He's on some sort of list. I can't tell you what list that is. I can't tell you where that list is. But they refuse to work for him. He claims that I overtook him on the M4 on our way back from visiting the Kingdom of the Thua, but this is only half the story. You see, what really happened is that, as we do, the Stumerians led the way home, back to England, back to Stumeria, and then back to Wayward. But what he doesn't tell you is that even though that we led the way, he had the audacity to overtake me as soon as he had that opportunity. And to preserve my honour, and the honour of the Empress Samantha, and, Empress, uh, and Princess Eleanor, who were also present in the vehicle, I had no choice but to overtake him too, and resume my position at the head of the column. Raoul says that I was in Downton Abbey, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. Back in the day, before I met Samantha, in fact, because I met Samantha, I was a, a background artist, a featured artist, in the film and TV industry. I was in Downton Abbey and perhaps as many as a hundred or more other films and TV series and adverts, some of which are still airing to this day, some of which you can potentially find on YouTube. They're out there. Raoul says that we provided them their first flag, but we have provided them also with so much more. In fact, when we provided them with their flag, we also gave them somewhere in the region of 50 button badges featuring the acorn of the Kingdom of Wayward. He doesn't mention this, does he? No. The lies. Lies upon lies. Half-truths. It's, it's just shameful. I, it hits me right here. And of course, they condemned us for initiating a trade agreement with them, saying that we had given them shiny coins. These are not just shiny coins, Raoul. It is silver. It is silver. So, with all of that, I would like for you all to join me in condemning this complimentary condemnation video and exposing it for what it really is. A thinly veiled attack on my person and on Stemeria. Now, before I finish this video, I do want to make it as abundantly clear as possible 
because there have been times where I have posted similar videos and made similar content and people have gotten the wrong end of the stick. This is satire, okay? This is not a real condemnation video. The Kingdom of Wayward's condemnation video was not a real condemnation video. This is all just for fun. This is not so much clickbait, but a bit of banter between myself and King Raoul. Because for those that don't know, King Raoul and myself are actually very good friends. Our families, uh, you know, meet one another and all the rest of it, and we have a lovely time. So this is just a bit of fun that we have done. I, did, I said I was going to make this video uh, after he, he didn't actually tell me that he was making the condemnation video, I have to say. So when I first saw that video, I was a bit, mm, mm, where's he going with this, mm? But I knew uh, that it wasn't going to be anything too serious. Uh, this video, he has been forewarned about, as have the uh, other micronations that form a part of the Empire of Sumeria's uh, empire. Um, because I, the last time that I didn't tell them I was going to post this kind of video, I think is when I posted the Sturmeria is no more video, where uh, I effectively announced the dissolution of the Empire of Sturmeria, or gave the impression that that was going to be the case, uh, when in fact it wasn't. And this caused a great deal of alarm, I think, uh, in particular, um, in the kingdom of Salasia, who uh, told me that they are... Uh, sort of had to rush to find good internet connection to find out what was going on. Um, but, uh, so I just wanted to make it as clear as I can now. This is not a genuine condemnation video. Everything's fine. It's all progressing well. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video and you wanted to become a part of the Stamerian community, then please feel free to do so through our Patreon campaign, the link of which I shall leave in the description below as always. You can also find the details of the other micronations, including the Kingdom of Wayward, that uh, form the Stumerian Empire in the description below as well. All of their details are there. But otherwise, if you did enjoy the video, then please feel free to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.